picturing guys up at the line of scrimmage, changing the play, doing the Peyton Manning, barking this, barking that. Which of these quarterbacks would you say has the highest football IQ? It's got to be Tom Brady. It has to be. You know, I think one of the things that's made him so great is every time he changes the protection, it's the right, it's the right answer. Okay. He's always got the correct answer to the problem on every play. He's always sending the ball to the right direction. You know, it's think about this. When was the last time we saw Brady have a free runner yeah. on him? It doesn't happen. No, it doesn't happen because right. he's always getting himself and his team into the right spot. He's, he's even said it himself. He's figured out defensive coordinators. I mean, Dick LeBeau was one of the defensive coordinators in the NFL that no one figured out for four decades. Mm-hmm. Brady said he figured him out, you know? And so I look at it like this. They say to, to master something takes... 10,000 hours. Right. Yeah, sure. Right. Well, right. Brady became a you know, full-time starter in 02. Mm-hmm. So if we do 180 days a year that he's studying football, Talk about which it. is probably a low number, right? right. Yeah. Five hours a day, which is, again, probably a <laughs> low, low yeah. number. It's 900 hours a year. Simple math. In about 12 years, Brady's mastered the quarterback position. So take away the year he was injured. By 2015, he fully Gladwell talk. Okay. Okay. You know, so. Outlier. Can you're the best. That was incredible. That, that was, was great. Off. Yeah, so never I, I just, it's Brady. I mean, we just never see him, we never see him surprised by anything. Wow.